Hello Taurus and welcome to the Green Woman Tarot. This is a general reading for you for the fourth week of August 2020. So that's from the 24th to the 30th of August, thereabouts. And it's a general reading to see what sort of energies are around you at this time, to see what's on the cards for you. But before we dive into the tarot, I need to consult the oracle. So I'm going to use this Angels and Ancestors Oracle deck to draw you three cards to start the reading off with. So let's see what words of wisdom the mysterious Oracle has for Taurus for the fourth week of August 2020. What messages are here for Taurus? For the fourth week of August 2020. See what messages are in here for Taurus for the fourth week of August 2020. <laughs> There's a bunch flown out there and I will just um I'll pick three from here for you. Lively cards indeed. So let's see. Let's take that one and that one and the last one. So let's see what you get. The moon. Oh, take note of intuitive messages. Time to tap into your intuition. There may be some unclarity about cert certain situations you're in right now. And you've got Shapeshifter. Transform and unveil your gifts. Goes quite well with the moon, actually. There's some... Um, yeah. Let's see what the last one is. Wise one. Grow within your current situation. So it seems there's some unclarity, perhaps you're undecided for some of you about various things and it seems your role is unclear. Um, you are advised here with the shapeshifter to transform and unveil your gifts. Let, a, let another side of you come out and show the world what you can be. And... Um, Use your wisdom. The wise one comes to advise that whatever this situation is, if it's unclear, if you're undecided of which way you want to go, who you want to be, what part of you you want to tap into, you need to use this unclarity, this unclear situation to grow. Use the knowledge you gain from this situation to turn into wisdom. It, I get an impression there's, there's lessons to be learned for some of you. Right, but let's see what the rest of the, the reading has. <clears throat> so let's see what's on the cards for Taurus for the fourth week of August 2020. What messages are here for Taurus for the fourth week of August 2020? What messages are here for Taurus for the fourth week of August 2020? See what messages are here for Taurus for the fourth week of August 2020. Messages for August. Ah, messages for Taurus, sorry. <laughs> messages for Taurus for the fourth week of August. Messages are here for Taurus for the fourth week of August 2020. Let's take these cards that are flying all over and we'll begin. You've got the King of Wands in the world and you've got <clears throat> the Eight of Swords. Yeah. 
what brings you here is the lovers a choice oh and the four of wands and the emperor mm. interesting your challenges are the star the page of swords and the ace of swords the queen of swords fascinating and the judgment card and the two of cups are your advice row and then you've got the nine of pentacles the three of wands and the ace of wands and you've got the page of wands at the bottom of the deck I think you're going to be called to be quite decisive about something, to be to take control, to take power, to take ownership of something. Um, for, so surrounding energies and where you've come from, what's brought you here, is, there's a choice. Um, it could well be a relationship issue. But there is... Um, a possibility to create something or, or to enter something that is stable and um, offers the potential for secure and um, harmonious compatible relationship whether it's work or love there's um, perhaps you know I'm getting a sense of a sort of an indecisiveness because the lovers although it could well mean a, a, a wonderful bond is formed um, between two opposites and it's long lasting and all that but even though it's right next to the four of ones today when I look at it it looks to me like there's a choice a choice of whether to go into this situation or who to enter it with and you've got the emperor he's looking very watchful today I'm, I'm getting a sense it's sort of like you need to strategize and um, build something up you it shows you in a position of power and control over something that may well be relationship related let's just move on to where you are entering a new phase something has ended and it's opened up opportunities for you this is where I get a sense of like this choice to enter something better newer more harmonious than what you've left and you know coming into your power the emperor is right above the king of wands two really powerful energies um on empire building energies so it's like you view you're in a position now to really create something solid and um, stable something that can expand and grow and definitely something that you can control it's like you've got a ch chance now to really come into your power to call the shots here but then you have the eight of swords suggesting you may be in a you m you know I'm getting a sense it's like a warning don't tie yourself up into something you may place yourself in a um, situation that is difficult to extricate yourself from 
Perhaps for some of you, you may feel that, you know, you're unable to take the step. But for the most part, I think it's, um, you're able, you can work within a, quite a confined situation to build something up. If you're able to um, change your perspective, because it's definitely, you may feel quite trapped, but there's a way out that way that way may well be connected to owning a truth actually which will come to yeah here you are entering this new phase coming into your power but somehow tangling yourself up into a bit of an unclear situation not sure which way to move forward there's certainly a choice here. And then in your advice, Rose, like, you know, bringing uh, your, uh, your, sorry, your challenge row, the three cards that, that represent your challenges this week are the Star, the Page of Swords, and the Ace of Swords. And while well, I could go straight to the Page of Swords, it's almost like there's, 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 truth to be owned there is a complication regarding communication i think some something's going to come in, you know or has already come in to present a um an issue that needs clear and decisive communication but it's who you're communicating with is, or perhaps even this is you, someone in this communication is unable to express themselves in a clear and um, concise manner. I'm getting a sense of immaturity here, inability to, to express themselves effectively and thereby creating a bit of disharmony and disarray. So your challenge here is to um, to realize this. To to have a moment of epiphany is needed. A moment of clarification, like an aha moment, and a decisiveness. And I'm getting a sense that, you know, part of here, what's trapping you here is this wanting to pour oil on troubled waters to, to bring about a sense of hope and peace after a difficult time. And deciding, you know, what dream it is, what, what, what goal it is you want to go for. Acting with decisive clarity in moving towards your, your dream, your goal. These are your challenges. And, you know, looking at the, the star, she's not naked for nonsense reasons. It's because she in sort of, um, she, the star is usually depicted naked because it expresses, it, it shows the um, the veneer has been swept away. You know, this is needing to be clear, needing to take those masks off to, to be authentic to yourself. It may fit in with this. Um, so there's a the challenge here to be who you are and perhaps um, in a difficult situation where communication is unclear and perhaps indecisive, bringing a sense of um, grace and hopefulness to what could become quite an awkward situation. And I'm getting a sense for a lot of you, there's something clear that needs to be said. These are your challenges and your advice. Yeah. 
decisiveness. Your advice is to be um, decisive. To communicate with clarity and with wisdom. Because you've been called with the judgment card. It's, um, it's like you've been called to, to take control, to take command. And I'm sure that this is all about deciding what partnership, what choice you want to enter into with regards to this, these two cards here that I saw as a, um, oops, you just need another pair of hands, which I saw as, as a, like a decision about which house you want to enter, which partnership you want to go into. So this is interesting. I'm, you know, looking at the whole spread, it seems that you're in a position to choose a partnership. It's, options are here for you. Um, and you're the one calling the shots, but you somehow feel trapped by that. I think that's why we've got the moon. You know, this unclarity, uncertainty. And it seems like you you want to you want to please everyone. You want to be there for everyone involved, and that may well be what is causing you to feel trapped. But there's your advice, Ro. You know, use your integrity wisely. You need to be decisive. You need to be clear in your communication and it's sort of almost karmic um, it, you know what you've been called being in this position is almost unavoidable it's like a karmic thing with you and um, out of it you get you you need to make a decision about which partnership you want to focus on. Where your loyalties lie. Outcome, well the outcome is actually very good in the end. It shows, actually it shows you moving towards a more independent um, state. Perhaps for many of you what you decide to is to walk alone, to be independent and um, to turn your attention away from all this towards work related things, towards perhaps entrepreneurial projects or just creative endeavours. Work-wise, you've got a new beginning, a new beginning will be opening up for you that offers a lot of potential to bring you independence and security and um, enable you to build up a um, comfortable situation for yourself but it will require discipline and you know you'll be able to progress things you'll be able to move them forward and con work at continuing to grow um, on your endeavor, you know, the situation and your endeavors. And um, there you've got your page as well. You sort of certainly shows like a wonderful new beginning that is creative and can bring about a lot of potential growth for you. But it seems to take you away from this, these cards that do generally in reading show potential partnerships. So I'm thinking the, the advice here is, is actually to be stand on your own. And maybe this is why you're struggling because you have loyalties and you're not 
wanting to disappoint people or companies, for those of you who see this as a work-related reading. But um, the wise Queen of Swords suggests, you know, you need to be make a decision. This decision needs to be made and it needs to be communicated clearly and decisively. And perhaps, you know, the judgment says you may well be being called into a different direction and the, 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 the focus that would best help you, that would best um, serve you is, is a focus on independence. So it's a very strange feeling I'm getting from these cards. It's sort of, um, it shows there's a lot of potential for growth for you, but it may well take you away from commitments, partnerships, um, and such like that you've made and that you feel you want to hold on to but which are inevitably making you feel trapped. But, you know, you are entering a new phase of your life, a new beginning, um, which may well see you enter into a new role. So that's a very interesting reading for you this week, Taurus. I hope that you enjoyed it, and if so, please remember to hit the like button. And um, have yourself a good week and God bless you till we meet again.